Thank you, Chairman. Um, hello, uh, I'm Akiro Kaneda from uh, Japan. Um, today, I'm glad to see you and to talk about our recent work of the National Digital Repository of Archaeological Site Reports from Asia. So, uh, first of all, uh, I'll talk about our organization's aims and tasks. Then, I'll share with you the current situation of archaeological surveys in Japan. After that, I'll share with you current tasks and achieves our repository. Finally, I talk about future works. So, uh, our organization is the NARA National Research Institute for Cultural Properties. It's called Nabunken in short Japanese. Nara city was the ancient capital of Japan before moving new capital uh, named Kyoto in the end of the 8th century. There are many cultural properties remained and designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Japan has two national center for cultural properties, Nara and Tokyo. Nara takes the central role in historical and archaeological issues. We conduct survey and research on preservation, restoration, and maintenance of cultural properties all over the country and around the world. We also conduct training for local government and overseas researchers. The library in the institute holds uh, 300,000 books and 5,000 titles of magazines on cultural properties, including excavation site reports. We are putting emphasis on the dissemination of information, such as managing databases that uh, transmit various cultural property information and publications of research results. And we must support to supply information for political decisions uh, from uh, professional views for Ministry of the Cultural Affairs. Next, I show uh, the system for rescue surveys and uh, current situation in Japan. One, archaeological site map is created by each prefecture. According to uh, Act on Protection of Cultural Properties, a map shall clearly indicate the uh, boundaries of an archaeological site on it and shall be open to the public. Currently, this information is open uh, via GIS maps. Uh, many sites are recorded nationwide. The protection framework basically prevents from destruction due to development activities. Uh, two, in uh, 20, 2014, the number of uh, notifications of development undertaken within the boundaries of archaeological sites reached over uh, 50,000. Um, when an archaeological site could be destroyed due to development, the local government must carry out excavation. In uh, 2055, over uh, 8,000 excavation surveys were executed. Four, uh, local governments uh, have right to execute excavation surveys. Uh, uh, local government uh, have many archaeologists for rescue survey and protect uh, cultural properties. Uh, total uh, 507, uh, sorry, uh, 5,070 experts in uh, <coughs> 2015. One development project uh, influenced by social and economic conditions. Accordingly, the rise or fall of the number of uh, excavation is directly related to the number of experts. Over the past 
15 years, the number of excavations and uh, archaeologists in local government has decreased. Uh, excavation uh, survey costs are uh, borne by developers and uh, government. Total excavation survey costs uh, about 510 million euro uh, or uh, 441 million pound. Also, over the past uh, 20 years, excavation survey cost fell down by the government policy to reduce public development. During the last three years, they are include increasing and excavation survey cost and rising by the political region. After combined, uh, completed uh, an excavation survey, an excavation survey report should be published within three years. There are approximately uh, 1,700 excavation survey reports published per year in Japan. Incidentally, uh, the total number of excavation survey reports published is unknown. Though, it is presumed that uh, 100,000 to 200,000 reports have, have been published. The ex exact number itself remains unclear. This situation shows nobody is able to use the content of all the excavation survey reports. It's a problem. Uh, it is uh, one of the site reports in Japan. Uh, the site reports make up text, drawings, and photos about archaeological findings. For Example, this is a site report in German era, which is the Neolithic age of Japan. And uh, uh, there are uh, drawings uh, of archaeological artifacts. So, left side, uh, my drawing, <laughs> when I was young. And uh, upside display, uh, this side uh, report shows archaeometric results about mirror. And uh, under the display, in the uh, under uh, under the display uh, showing uh, in this report, uh, it includes 3D and detailed photo mapping images on good label disk. An um, excavation survey report is uh, considered to be a substitution of a destroyed archaeological site. Therefore, excavation survey reports must be stored in a secure manner. Many archaeologists are fearing that digital data do not suitable to keep a long term for the future now. Such reports are, in principle, stored as print media now. So, uh, 300 copies of each survey report are printed and delivered to the national library, public library, and libraries of universities and research centers. Although a great number of the printed reports may serve as extremely uh, powerful information resource, it is impossible to search the content of every such printed paper. A digital content such system is indispensable. So uh, our digital digit, uh, repository calls the comprehensive database of archaeological sites reports in Japan. However, it, it is to wrong name them, we call the Japan Cultural Heritage Search as abbreviation uh, JCH. We called JCH data amount as uh, archaeological big data. Uh, this data amount includes about 1.8 billion characters, uh, 2.8 million pages of 
PDF files, uh, 23,000 reports, and uh, 25,000 editors and authors. We will go up the project to translate Japanese to other languages. JSH uh, enables the search of cultural property reports published by local governments nationwide as well as browsing, browsing uh, full text PDF files. Uh, Nabunken operates the database. We collaborate with 915 organizations, including university and local governments, to promote electric disclosure of people. JCH is not only to open the PDF data, but also to have the additional effect. For example, local governments and local museums and sometimes hold a special exhibition or a lecture. They wish many people come to this event. They can register their activities on JCH, such as event, online information. JCH unites this information. People who use JCH inquire academic information about archaeology. JCH shows a related information on the same page. This suggests by auto-analysis to compare text data between archaeological report and event information. The visitors can know this information they may make a plan to visit the museum uh, or event. It shows the growth of uh, our data and the uh, uh, number of downloads. We had opened over 23,000 site reports in 20, 2018. A number of downloads uh, increased year by year. We know by web comment and SNS that visitors were not only archaeologists, but non-professional persons who like history and archaeology. We think this repository has a new possibility. We hope to contribute to be basis understanding data of human history in the whole world. However, it is a problem that almost all the reports in written by the Japanese. It's a very big problem. It is a big wall of using the data uh, to the world archaeologist. Then we have been preparing the cross lingual information retrieval. Fortunately, the main archaeological data are visual data such as drawing and photos, it is easy to see and recognize archaeological data. We can hold the archaeological discussion by these images, but it needs some function to find the images which visitors want to. Okay, so no, I no. <laughs> So, uh, its uh, function provides you access the uh, Japanese archaeological records uh, to translate uh, English Japanese dictionaries. Now, so if you want to find the uh, flag, uh, Paleolithic stone tools, uh, you will only input the word flag on JCH. You find many information about site report in Japan. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh. <coughs> The image is uh, correct result from the old text in JCH. About uh, 1.5 billion texts are uh, analyzed. And uh, uh, for example, uh, artifacts show colored pink. We can find words about potteries in those these reports. So uh, JCH can show a word that occurs frequently in the site report, we can understand the outline about the report. Moreover, JCH has a function for associating a retrieval. Visitors may find similar reports with find one. 
they can be easy to find an example. For a future plan, uh, we have been developing an automatic extraction uh, by deep learning from site report. For example, it is roof tiles in the uh, null power site. So, uh, conclusion, uh, we hope register all reports in a database and increase uh, accessibility uh, to reports from the world and construction of the archaeological term thesaurus in English and uh, other languages and uh, increase usage from overseas. So, thank you for your attention.